Hello guys, welcome back to the Seven Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for more videos. Today our topic is about the method that how we find the centroid of I shape. This is the I shape given to us. Uh, the two are the flanges. One is in the top and one is at the bottom. And the middle one is the web of this I shape. So we want to find the centroid of this I shape object. The dimensions of this I shape is given to us. At the length at the bottom is 100 meter and the above is also 100 millimeter so it's millimeter uh, and this the thickness of this is 70 millimeter the thickness of this is 20 millimeter the depth of this portion is 150 and similarly the height of this is 50 millimeter and the uh, thick uh, the length is 100 millimeter so we are going to find the centroid of this shape uh, and I will explain each in detail uh, the full centroid of this object uh, watch this video full uh, you will be able to learn the centroid of any shape so now to find the centroid first i will write here the formula of the centroid you can find the centroid of any shape by using this formula the y bar is show the centroid for example the centroid of this is unknown to us y bar is unknown to us so y bar is equal to the summation of area and summation of the individual centroid Dividing by the summation of area. If by using this equation, we can find the centroid of any shape. So I will explain this example that how we find the centroid of I shape. This is the Y bar shows the centroid. This shows the summation that we will add the whole values. The AI shows the area of the individual object. And the Y bar shows the centroid of the individual object. For example, this individual object. So consider this is the one object, this is the second object, and this is the third object. So the area of the one is represented by A1, A2, A3. Similarly, the centroid of this is Y1, Y2, Y3. And again, dividing by the summation of the area, A1, A2, A3. So dividing this by this, we will get the centroid of this I shape. So now let's start. The first one is the area. So I will find the area of the each one like a1 is equal to the a1 is this area so this is a rectangle type so i can find the area of this rectangle by multiplying the two dimension 170 100 into 70 it comes out to be 7000 millimeter square now a2 the area of the second this width is 20 into 150 I get 3000 millimeter square area of the second object now the area of the third object this a3 which is one which is 50 into 100 5000 millimeter square so now we find the three areas now I will find the three centroid of individual of each object so this is the y1 y1 the centroid of this object is y1 the centroid of this object if I extend this object from here to here is the centroid of the second object y2 and then the centroid of the third object here centroid of the third object is y3 so y1 is equal to the y1 y1 is equal to the, the 70 is the whole depth so y1 comes out to be dividing it by 2 because it's a rectangle so dividing by 2 we get the 35 mm millimeter is the centroid of the first one there's a centroid the y2 can be found out by adding this y1 by adding this y1 and the middle point of the 2 so y2 comes out to be 70 is the y1 plus the middle of the two of the second object so middle is 150 dividing it by two so 150 dividing by two it comes out to be 75 so we will add 70 and 75 it comes out to be 145 millimeter is the y2 now y3 can be found out by by is equal to the y2 this whole length this up to this point up to this point this so it is equal to the 70 plus 150 
is the total and then adding this metal depth which is 50 divided by 2 so it's equal to the 70 plus 150 is this one and then uh, 50 dividing 50 by 2 50 by 2 it comes out to be total adding this we get 245 millimeter so now this is the summary of all values I will put this all values into this equation so we get the y bar the y bar comes out to be y bar is equal to the area of a1 7000 into y1 I will multiply these two values 35 and then again adding the a2 and y2 a2 is 3000 and y2 is 145 again adding the values of a3 5000 multiplying with the y3 is 245 and dividing this whole values by summation of area it is 7000 a1 with the 3000 a2 and with the a3 is 5000 so by dividing this values by the summation of areas we will get the y bar which is centroid and after by calculating these all values we get the centroid of this uh, i shape is 127 and the unit of millimeter because all units are in millimeters so the y bar is 127 millimeter so it means the centroid of this shape is 127 millimeter 70 millimeter is this one and adding this with the some length so we will get the whole length from the bottom is equal to the 127 millimeter so this is the centroid of the uh, this shape from the bottom 127 millimeter measure the 127 from the bottom up to the distance of 127 we will get the centroid of this shape which may be here somewhere lies in this middle of this uh, two, two object so this is the method that how we find the centroid you can find the centroid of any object if we know this formula summation of a y into y a i into y i and dividing this by summation of area so just by calculating these values we will get the centroid of the required object and don't forget to subscribe our channel for more civil engineering videos thank you for watching our video